Hi, I'm Loretta Downs, and today we have a treat in store for you. A lesson in hairstyling by that famous New York hairstylist, Julius Caruso. You know, when you go to Julius's salon to have your hair done, you don't know who's going to be under the next dryer. It might be a Hollywood celebrity, a Broadway star, a socialite, or maybe even a duchess or two. But even if you never get to his salon, you can still have the benefit of his famous advice. Because Julius is the hairstyling consultant for one of the largest manufacturers of home permanence, Lilt. The little instruction booklet, you know, that comes along with every push-button home permanent waving kit, that's Julius's work. It's right from his collection. And now, let's meet him, Julius Caruso. Hello, Loretta. Hi. It's a pleasure to have you with us. Thank you. It's nice being here. Well, what are you going to talk to us about today? Well, we're going to go into three areas today. One is the roller arrangement, the brush out, and the permanent underneath. I see. Well, I also see that you have our gal here set up with rollers. Is that where we start? Yes. Um, you'll notice here I'm using three size rollers. Uh, the first size roller is what I call a medium size roller, which I use along the hairline. Then I increase the diameter of the roller as I go into the head. Third size roller I call a stove pipe. It's enormous in size, the largest you can possibly get. I use at the crown of the head. Then I use pin curls around the cheeks and around the base of the neck. And with this, you get a nice lifting, blousy line that hugs the face, hugs the neck. Uh-huh. Well, what about the placement of rollers? Well, that's very easily done by going to any newsstand, and there are many magazines that show you roller arrangements and how to brush out hair. And I also have a booklet that I just put out that's in every package of a new home permanent. Mm -hmm. But I think most important of all is how you pick up the hair to put a roller in a head. I can show you very easily on your head if you don't oh, mind. Alrighty. Instead of just taking the hair and straight parting it and putting the hair on a roller like so, I zigzag the hair out. This is what I mean by zigzagging. See, I make a jagged line and then I put the hair on the roller. And when you comb this out, you don't see all the little separations between the hair. Well, what about brush out techniques? Well, brushing out is a very, very important factor in hairstyling. After you go through the great effort of placing curls in properly and, and rollers, then you must vigorously brush through a head of hair so that the hair doesn't show any sort of separations. And vigorously doesn't hurt the hair at all? No, as a matter of fact, it just makes the hair flow into one another. Oh. That's well, I've heard you talk place. about back combing and back brushing. Mm -hmm. uh, would you tell us about them and yes. what's the difference? Yes. Back brushing is to get certain effects. Uh, this is what I call back brushing. Then I very gently take the brush over the top surface, and it doesn't allow the hair to stand up quite as high as it does with back combing. Back combing makes you create higher fashion coiffures that will oh, practically see. you can do most anything with it. Uh -huh. Well, now let's talk a little bit about the permanent. Why do mm -hmm. we need one? Well, the reasons for a permanent are to give you a hair, every hairstyle, body, control, and it helps maintain any line that you decide to put in. Oh, I see. Well, now, what are the basic features of a permanent? What are the basic important things? Well, first of all, I think you must first know what kind of a style you want, and it must be cut for this hairstyle. Secondly, uh, shampoo the hair quite thoroughly to get all the natural oils out. And third, uh, I think a wonderful hint is for people that take a little bit longer to wrap a permanent wave at home, uh, to pat the ends with a little uh, olive oil or castor oil, any kind of kitchen oil, to keep the ends from getting too curly. That sounds like we're about ready for our permanent. Tell me, is there any difference between a home permanent and a salon permanent? Actually, no. It's the hands that do it. Ah, uh, speaking of hands, now are there any special little hints you can give us about winding the curls? Yes, there's one very good hint. When you pick up the hair and after it's been saturated, don't pinch the hair together. Just keep it spread as the comb spreads it out and very gently, without tugging, place that curl down. Well, doesn't that make the curl looser? No, the timing is what determines whether it's going to be a tight or a loose curl. Oh, well, what do you mean by a body curl? Well, I made a test curl here. I'd like to show you. I did this a few minutes ago. And when you open up a curl, and you kick it back, if it's three quarters of an inch in the break, it's a loose curl. If it's a half inch, that's a body curl. And if it's a quarter of an inch break, that's a tight curl. One last question. How permanent is a permanent? Well, a permanent is a permanent as long as it's on your head. When you cut it off and it lands on the floor, it's no longer a permanent. 
I see. Well, thank you so much, Julius, for taking some of the mystery out of hairstyling. Mm -hmm. This has been Julius Caruso, stylist for the Broadway and Hollywood stars and high society, and special consultant for Lilt Home Permanence. <laughs>